Bonjour everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you are new, my name is Louisa, you are watching Lulu, c'est la vie, and for today's video, I am tired, as you can see, I'm not gonna apologize for it, but I just wanna warn you that I may be looking for my words a little bit more than usual, we switch into like summer hours, like uh, energy saving hours, so we lost an hour of sleep and it really messed up my, my sleeping cycle so if you see that i am looking for my words a little bit too much i am so sorry i want to also apologize to the editing me that is going to struggle to edit this video <laughs> but it's okay um but anyways what are we going to talk about in today's video like you saw in the title i'm going to share with you guys my curly to straight routine i'm going to show you how i go from curly hair to straight hair this is not the end result this is my six day six of straight hair um my roots are starting to get really dirty my my, my hair is getting to starting to get a lot uh, greasy so it's time for me to wash my hair technically this is not a curly to straight video it's a straight to straight video <laughs> but it's okay um, so in this video I'm going to show you all the steps that I take to uh, to straighten my hair I am going to share with you all the products that I use and once my hair is straight I'm going to show you guys how I go to bed with my straight hair and what I do to prolong it uh, this hairstyle as long as possible before I get into the mid of this video if you are seeing yourself coming back for more and more of my video please feel free to subscribe to my channel if you are enjoying the content of this video before you leave please hit the, the thumbs up button it really helps your girl out and it also lets me know that you are enjoying this type of content therefore I will be making more of it now let's say that you think this video can help a friend in need feel free to share it with them or even better share it on your social medias and lastly feel free to comment in the comment section and share your experience with us with the community because it always end up helping somebody else out there you never know who's gonna read your comment and you might even make a friend in the process I've seen that happen a lot in my channel so just I'm alive so this is a day six like I mentioned earlier um, my hair is dirty now it's time for me to cleanse my scalp uh, to cleanse my hair maybe to do a little deep conditioning I'm gonna do a little close-up for you guys to see I'm not sure if the camera is gonna catch it but this is pretty much what you what we are dealing with um, my roots are greasy my hair is getting a little too dry at the ends it's time for some TLC so I'm gonna go in the bathroom right now I'm going to wash my hair do a deep conditioning and I'll come back in front of you to start the whole process okay I will see you guys in one all right my loves I am out the shower what did I do I washed and conditioned my hair using the Bioterra ultra repair line of product if you follow me you know that this is one of my favorite but you also know that they've been discontinued so I will not link it down below what I will do though is that I will link right here um, the series uh, the video series on my favorite curly hair product uh, 2022 in this series I talk about my favorite shampoos there's a video for my favorite conditioners live-ins gels and you'll see all the products that I absolutely adore using okay once I was done cleansing and conditioning my hair it was time to do a deep conditioning for that I went with a brand that I've never really used before and I don't I don't remember ever using it's the brand called keratin keratin protein actually that's their name this is what the mask looks, looks like I got a little sample because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it this is what it looks like I am pretty sure and and as a warning because I know my there are a bunch of you guys who don't like to use silicone and prefer to have a very clean line of product and I'm part of that team too like you'll see when you watch the series as soon as I can get a product that's somewhat natural I or use natural ingredient as much as possible then, you know I go for it but I also recognize and acknowledge when brands are working hard on their formulas and it's real you can definitely see a difference on your hair another thing is when it comes to straightening the hair 
I need, I am team silicone. I need the protection that the silicone is gonna give me. And because I don't straighten my hair every week, I, it's more like once or twice a year, um, I don't mind using the silicone at this point. Now, apart from straightening my hair once in a while, I don't mind using silicone because I am doing so good with other products that um, are sulfate silicone and all this craziness free okay i'm not seeing a lot of silicone in this mask um but it's loaded with protein and collagen which i am so happy to put on my hair right now um i let it sit for about 10 minutes and i rinse it out and then i apply the living my favorite living conditioner of the moment which is the multitasking conditioner from Kilsmith. again i will link everything except from the shampoo and conditioner down below now that my hair is ready to be styled um, there's one more product that i want to apply on my hair and it is from the same brand as the deep conditioner keratin protein and it is a five in one live-in conditioner and heat protector this bad guy right here is going to save my hair from getting heat damage so one miracle product for five amazing benefits one smooth and control freeze two provides thermal protection three hydrate and soften four detangle to prevent breakage and five boost the shine when i look at the ingredient list i have water glycerin keratin keratin jojoba seed oil and sesame seed oil and then we get into the weird names that i can't even pronounce um, and the silicones are somewhere in there all right so i'm going to apply the spray all over my hair and then i'm going to show you guys how i like what technique i use to blow dry my hair you guys ready let's go protected detangled I am going to divide and conquer which is pretty much the same technique I use when I style my curls I'm going to divide my hair into sections and I'm going to uh, blow dry each section using my beautiful hair dryer from Bionic and this brush this brush is old okay this brush is older than my daughter it's way it's probably 15 years old why do I like this brush and yes I will eventually buy a new one <laughs> it's because it has a ceramic plate inside and so once the hot hair hit the ceramic plate it gets hot and my hair gets sandwiched between the hot hair and the ceramic plate and it kind of cuts down the the drying time half and it really helps to smooth my hair nicely so I highly recommend that you guys get yourself a big round brush with a ceramic plate inside to help you diffuse your hair. Where's my brush? Where's my brush? Oh, there it is. Oh yeah. I am, left. I am all set up. I have separated my hair with the first section that I'm going to uh, straighten to blow dry. I have my amazing bionic uh, blow dryer and my big fat round brush, ceramic brush to start the blow drying job. So I am starting by dividing this first section right here in two subsections. And I I'm, need to see what I'm doing. I have my mirror right here and I need to be able to show you. My hair is almost dry already, but it's okay, no biggies. I'm going to put the brush at the roots like this. Okay, you see how it's pulling everything out? And I'm taking my hair dryer and I'm going to go on high speed and high heat. Okay, you ready?
this is the first round of glow drying okay uh, my hair is completely dry somewhat straight but it could be silkier what I'm gonna do to make it a little bit easier for me is that instead of having the back the beak like this I'm going to move the beak like that and then it's gonna be a little bit easier for me to reach those hard corners okay all right I'm gonna keep going on that side until I get to a level that I really like other side now I'm gonna try my best to show you so the other side unlike this side it's a little bit harder for me because I'm a righty and it's my left side but I'll do my best to show you This is that for this part of my hair. Um, the smaller the section, the easier it's gonna be for you to get it nice and straight. I don't have a lot of hair on my head. I don't have a big density. So for me, it's pretty fast to do this whole process. But if you have a lot of hair, this may take you a minute and you're gonna need some muscle in your arms. <laughs> All right, I'm moving on to the next section. And it's funny because the sectioning that I'm doing is very similar to the sectioning that I do when I style my curls. It's pretty much the same, the same divisions, if that makes any sense. So I have one side here, one side here, and the back side. Here. I'm gonna make the sides a little bit bigger because that's not enough. Okay, I'm gonna start with the right side because it's the easiest for me to do and it's the easiest for me to show you guys how to do. Again, same thing as what we did previously. I'm gonna take my big brush, I'm gonna brush through top and bottom and I'm going to really put the brush at the roots right here. And I'm going to pull as much as possible. And I'm going to concentrate my diffuser on the roots. again for example I'm going through once I'm taking as long as possible to go through it and then I stop I divide my hair and I go through smaller section again I'm taking a lot of time to go through it and then I stop and always readjust like right here I'm like this I need my I need my beak to be like this so I have to change the um, inclination of my beak instead of being horizontal it has to be vertical you have to adapt your tools to what you need we cannot like detach our head from our neck put it on the table and do our hair so we have to adapt all right i'm done with 
this side I'm happy of how it looks I'm gonna blow dry towards the back and then I'm gonna go on the second part here which is part of my back panel you see I forgot this guy right here boom and let's do this This is what we have so far. <laughs> okay, lastly, we're gonna do this side. Same thing, we are brushing through and then we're gonna put the big fat brush at the roots and pull. the majority of my hair this is what we have so far show you the back okay now it's time for a break <laughs> pour yourself a cup of tea relax your muscles because it's a workout and then we're gonna go ahead and work on the top part of our hair. Okay, where was I? Ah, oui. Alors, we're doing the last section. Um, I'm going to divide and conquer because this is the easiest way to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit bigger sections this time because I'm running out of time, my love. Um, but again, keep in mind, the smaller your sections, the silkier your hair is going to be. And um, also, the longer it's going to take you. Okay, so just so you know. Ouch. Sorry. No, never mind. All right, so this is the section that I am taking. And I am going to blow dry towards the back. I will do my best to show you. But again, we are going at the roots here and we're pulling it as much as possible see the difference when you have a thicker section this is still wet and it's a little bit harder to work with but if you have some muscle you should be able to get it <laughs> I'm gonna again I'm gonna pivot the the beak to it horizontal and not a vertical like this this here that's perfectly normal and that's why I'm also going in when I blow dry my hair I try to have my blow dryer only go in this direction not this direction if you go against your hair you create a mess if you go towards the tip of your hair then you're bringing everybody towards one direction does that make sense I hope it does but you saw the visual you see what I mean okay going
knot and I didn't want to pull hard on my hair. So I rather stop than pull through a knot while blow drying. It's okay to stop, take a break and get back at it. So now I'm taking part of the previous section and part of the new section together here and I'm going to blow dry this together. hot in here okay last section I'm gonna subsection it make it looks pretty first one is here this should be fast at the roots here my beak is horizontal yes you see it it's horizontal and it covers a big surface of the brush <laughs> Last one and then we're done. to give a little fold a little wave to it there we go this is nice a little bit of movement you know a little something something and same thing here I can take this right here hold on it's hard because voila. I'll take this part right here and give it a little bit of a, a va -va voom you know But I got that side, so I'm happy. All right, my loves, I am done playing with my hair. I'm done diffusing. So here's the deal. Right now, my hair looks pretty dry, I have to say. Um, I am not going to put anything, any finishing products on it because I don't have anything that would work for what I'm doing. So I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, what I know is that throughout the hours they tend to get a little bit shinier and a little bit more moisturized it's pretty much the polar opposite uh, to how my hair is in its curly state when my hair is curly it loses its um, moisture throughout the day and I get my hair my hair gets dry and drier when I straighten my hair it gets more moisturized throughout the day to a point where it gets too greasy and I have to wash my hair. I'm not sure what the science is behind that, but that's pretty much my experience with my hair. All right, my love, so now that my hair is nice and straight, um, we're gonna get ready for bedtime. I'm gonna show you guys how I put my hair uh, before I go to bed to make sure that when I wake up in the morning, I have very little to no touch up to do to my hair okay so what are you gonna need you're gonna need a hairnet I will link everything down below for you guys 
um, you will need those long, long um, barrettes, long uh, barrettes, I don't know, I never know this name in English, and a brush. So what we're gonna do is call a wrap. We're gonna wrap our hair around our head. It's tedious, but it's achievable, okay? And I'll try my best to show you guys how I do it, because it can be a pain in the butt. I'm not sure how, what angle to show you this, but I'll, again, I'll do my best. Okay, so what you wanna do is bring all your hair to one side. So I'm bringing everything, I'm starting pretty much at my ear, and I'm brushing everything to one side, okay? And I'm gonna take one of those long barrettes and I am going to put it right here. It's very important that the, the opening part stays close to your, to your head so it's easy access because we're gonna take them out. So we're gonna continue wrapping around and I'm gonna use another barrette that I'm gonna put at my other ear, okay? So at this point, this is what I have. Okay, now I'm going to turn to the back. I don't know how I'm going to show you that, that guys, but I need to see what I'm doing too. And I'm going to keep going. Now, be careful with this area. It's going to be a little messy, but it's going to work. Trust me. So in this area right here, we're going to put another one. Okay, and now everything is on that side. I want to detangle as much as possible. You're going to hold the ponytail, put your finger here, and then you're going to wrap it around again. You see what I'm doing here? Again, I'm going to do it again. So you brought everything to this side as if you were going to do a ponytail, yes? Put your finger right at your hair and fold it over, yes? And then let it go. I'm going to take this first one and put it over. Better than that. And then I'm left with one more and I'm going to put it, I don't know, right here and right here. Okay, so right now I have wrapped my hair around my head. Okay, now to make sure, let me show you the back better. Hold on. Okay, now we have to go through a whole night of sleeping. <laughs> so to make sure everything stays put, we're gonna put this pretty little bonnet hairnet. Um, so we're gonna put it on the forehead and make sure that everything gets in. Ouch. And if things, something like that happen, you just wrap it around and then voila, now it's secure. All right, so now those barrettes are not comfortable at all, so we're gonna take them out. You're gonna lift that up. Just get to the base here. Make sure your hair is not tangled in it. And just take that out, yes? And then close it, same thing. We have four of them to take out. That's why it's important, make sure that the opening part, the squeezing part, it's towards your forehead or you know, you can keep them up easily. So that's two. I have another one right here. That's three. And the last one behind there, let me show you. That's four. You guys, I hate to sleep with a bonnet on my hair, so I'm not gonna put anything else on top of that. This is pretty breathable. It's like a, a hairnet. Um, I hate to have um, anything covering my head when I sleep, but when I straighten my hair, this is the only time you'll see me wearing a hair cap, a hairnet, or something to just protect my style. This is amazing you can spend the whole night like that wake up in the morning take the bonnet out shake your hair and you will have perfect hair i mean maybe you'll need to retouch maybe something i didn't have to retouch anything in the past six days you guys no more heat for six days so 
as you can see this was pretty intense heat more than what I usually do on my curly hair but I will not be applying any more heat for the next six days unless I get my hair I get caught under the rain or something like that you know what I mean okay the last product I want to talk about and I don't know how long this video is going to be and if you're still here I love you thanks for still watching and you can comment straight here don't care in the comment section and I don't know that you watch till the end um, dry shampoo that I like to use is from not your mother's I hate dry shampoos those are I, those are things that I think is just I don't like dry shampoos the only time you see me wear um, apply a dry shampoo is on the day five of getting my hair straight and my roots are starting to get greasy especially if I had to work out throughout um, throughout the week which I usually do by the way this to work out I wouldn't recommend because if you are like me and you sweat a lot it's going to wet a lot of your hair to work out just do a regular ponytail okay but don't wrap don't keep your hair in a wrap and go work out uh, I know personally I do 15 minutes of cardio intense cardio and I'm drenched and all my hair would be wet all of it um, I rather do a ponytail and let just the root be a little wet and the rest of the ponytail stay dry that was a side note back to the dry shampoo I don't have a preference because I don't like dry shampoos but I like this brand not your mother's natural and they have a bunch of different I think I saw three at, at the drugstore at Dwayne Reed um, I only use this on day five when my roots really start to get greasy by day six I usually wash my hair so it's just for me to get it one extra day I don't like what dry shampoo does to my scalp and I believe and that's just not not your mother it's any dry shampoo in the market if you abuse of dry shampoo you could get scalp problem I, I believe that they could cause uh, problems to your scalp so I highly recommend that you use the dry shampoo once uh, on day five or however the your, your sebum uh, production is in your body um, but if you see that it's getting a little too greasy just wash your hair and cleanse your scalp very nicely especially after using this again your girl's not a big fan of, of uh, big fan of dry shampoos like that so that's that but that's it oh let me take that out so I can show you how what happens when you wake up in the morning you wake up in the morning you brushed your teeth you took your shower you're dressed you put your makeup on and the last thing you do is take that out you shake your hair you let it find this place <laughs> well I just blow dry my hair so it's a little cray cray but you shake your hair left and right and it will find its parting naturally and then you see how my hair didn't even get any any weird folds anything crazy voila and then you can just go about your day and that's it you're done done for the day you don't have to worry about your hair how fantastic is that all right my loves i am all set and done with this video i hope it wasn't too long i hope that you guys get some good information i hope it was helpful and you were able to see how i do my blow drying this is in an effort to do at as little heat damage to my hair as possible i could have gone there with a flat iron but i'm not because i know what it can do to my very fine wavy to curly hair okay all right let me know in the comment section your thought don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed the content don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet what are you waiting for don't forget to share with a friend in need or on your social media i will see you guys next week with a new video until then my love stay happy stay healthy have a beautiful life. Au revoir et à bientôt. <laughs> hey, c'est la vie.